Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first iteration of Donkey Kong Country Mondays, or as anybody, if you're watching this on YouTube, as you probably might be, uh, the first iteration of Marvelous Iggy Plays Donkey Kong Country. Yes, as you can see, there's, there's Diddy Kong Kong, there's Diddy Kong, there's Donkey Kong Country 2 right there, but I wanted to play the original. I wanted to play the game that sort of made was really crazy to think about that it was on the Super Nintendo back in 1994. Um, and with that, and that is why I'm, I'm playing Donkey Country, Donkey Kong Country One. Uh, I grew up, as I say, when I even though I've, I've said when I played Sonic, I've I love my Genesis, but I did have a Super Nintendo. And I apologize for cracking knuckles. Um, so, but when I would play the Super Nintendo, I didn't play Mario a lot. I played a little bit of Zelda. I played a little bit of Metroid. But the one franchise, the one game I really kept playing because it just astounded me with how amazing the graphics were. And I still think the graphics are just as amazing today as they were almost 21 years ago, uh, 1994. Uh, was Donkey Kong Country the reboot of Donkey Kong? I didn't, I didn't, I was, I'm too, I'm, I'm a generation, a generation, I'm a decade past playing arcade games. I never played, I actually only recently played the original Donkey Kong arcade game at a convention, which was a really cool experience to play. Um, and I even got to play Donkey Kong Country 2 and Donkey Kong Jr. and everything like that. But my Donkey Kong, uh, not to say that other Donkey Kongs are wrong, but the Donkey Kong I grew up on was the Donkey Kong Country series, Donkey Kong 1, 2, 2, 1, 2 and 3, 64, and of course the re-resurgence of it with Donkey Kong Country Returns, and of course the wonderful, possibly one of the best 2D platformers of recent memory, uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. So, I wanted to play a game I, wanted, I was familiar with here on Monday afternoons with you guys. So, today, we're going to be playing some Donkey Kong Country 1. And there might be some... 1994... I think it might restore some of my earlier point because I was playing this game earlier. It's had doing some runs. Yep. So what we're gonna do? Oh, not that. Not that. We're gonna reset it. There we go. Oh, that glorious rare logo! I tell you, man. That that. That game, that goes so far. I'm just gonna let the intro play. I'm just gonna let the intro play because so many memories as a kid playing this game. Um, playing as Donkey. And of course, his new, the new partner, Diddy Kong. Attitude! You know, all about the 90s. And this is kind of, you know, the Genesis couldn't do something like this. The, uh, the, the, uh, the Genesis can do something like this. The, uh, the, it's kind of amazing on how, because I was reading a book called Console Wars by Blake J. Harris, which you should definitely go read if you're hit, interested about the history of, yeah, I've already played, I, I've done two save files already. I was, gonna, I was that was my practice run right there, but we're going to do a new game. Uh, we're going to do one player. So, this is Donkey Kong Country, and in fact, I think it was at the Treehouse that, um, that... Uh, there were certain rare employees. I want to say it was rare that they were uh, working on something, and they thought they were working on the N64. And I'm like, no, uh, they were working on the, on the, on, I guess on the, um, what eventually be the, some kind of disc-based system that never came out for Nintendo. But they said, no, this is for the Super Nintendo. And uh, I think the president of, of Nintendo of America at the time, I can't remember his name though, but it's in the book. Was like, whoa, are you, are you kidding me? Uh, so here we are. Donkey Kong Country 1. Not a speed run. This is where we playing the game. So, look at this. This is all pre-rendered 3D graphics on a game on a console that was primarily used for 2D. You know, you had Mode 7. The the SNES, the, the SNES is definitely a leap in power over the NES. But this is something I don't even think people who were watching uh, the NES had hoped for. And of course, this is the story for Donkey Kong Country. Um, Donkey Kong's banana horde has been taken. Oh no! So, 
basically we're gonna travel across this weird ass island that has all sorts of environments and we're going to get our banana horde back now today's stream uh, will probably be about an hour and a half two hours I never really stream too long with uh, well, like, at, the, at the at the hour point it'll be a break uh, and we'll probably get through a chunk of the game today because Donkey Kong Country just like a lot of games a lot of 2d platformers it's not that long so this is your partner Diddy as you may know Press select on the Wii Virtual Console, or if you're playing on the SNES, you can play this on the SNES. I don't even think that's this is like maybe a thirty dollar game, which I kind of want to own a physical cartridge. This is your new partner, Diddy, aka the most popular thing to come out of this. Diddy can only take out those guys uh, via cartwheel. He cannot take them out uh, via jumping. Donkey Kong can take him out any other way he wants because he's freaking Donkey Kong. And I already lost a partner. There we go. Yeah, that can always be annoying. And of course, you're, I don't know, I hope the audio is coming through because I can't really tell because I only have it on this. Say hello to uh, basically Super Pets. And super in, in the first instance, you get both Super Pets and Bonus Rooms. Now, Bonus Rooms in this game are not exactly fleshed out. They're kind of just there. They're there for completion, but they don't, they're not really fun. Um, oh, wow, I never knew that. That's cool. They're not really fun. They're kind like they give you access to get more lives, um, uh, you know, get more of these animal tokens that allows you to go to a bonus. Oh wow! Holy shit! Look at that. You collect three of these, uh, you get to go to a special uh, room where you basically collect like a whole bunch and it equals some amount of lives and all that stuff. So keep that in mind. So this is Ramby. Rambi the Rhino, who actually disappears after Donkey Kong Country 2, and we beat the first level. So yeah, that was Jungle Hijinks. It's your, I mean, from a control standpoint, Donkey Kong Country pretty much controls like your standard 2D platformer. Although from a Stark, using the same environments obviously, but from a wonderfully brisk... Oh, we got an extra life up there. Pro tip for you younger people who never played this game. I definitely do think everybody should play this game. I love Mario. I love Mario Brothers and everything, but Donkey Kong was always my game back in the day. I'm not good at it by any means, but uh, in terms of just sheer enjoyment, uh, just so much fun playing it. I'm glad. Hello. All right. So as you can see, there's a Randy statue up to the top left. Get that real quick. No danger. All the rain effects, all the sound effects. I uh, really can't wait to get to the water level though, and just show off that. Like I, what I might do is I might mute my mic. Uh, I turn down my volume on my uh, mic on my blue snowball and uh, let you guys hear that because that's that's possibly one of the best game soundtracks of all time. Just in terms of sheer ambience of what they were doing. And if you look at the technical aspects of what Donkey Kong Country was able to do, it's sheer amazing that they were able to get this out of the out of the, out of the Super Nintendo. You know, a very advanced piece of hardware, sure, but you know still very limited in what it can do and what ultimately a lot of other systems could eventually do in, like, in less than at the time the N64 will only come out in two years at this point which is crazy to think about when you think about it you feel like the but the SNES had already been out by three years at that point it gets a little bit more perilous you get a little bit more bottomless pits more bees bees are the worst I hate bees I absolutely hate bees And then it changes from night to day. You couldn't, you probably, I can't think of a lot of games that actually did. Oh, don't want to go in there. I want to get the G. I want to get the G. Give me the, give me the G. I know I can. There we go. There we go. Kong levers don't mean anything except getting lives. So if you want lives, you can do that. Or you can do the 50, 50 life code cheat for the latest that too. So this is, uh, this is Cranky. Cranky is basically your, your grandpa who, um, he gives you tips and secrets. You can find, you can find fun in the rope, in the, the ropey rampage between a rock and a hard place. Someone told me that if you hold the wide button, you can run. He basically gives you tips and tricks and sort of things like that. And this, okay. All right. 
So this is our first cave level. And obviously, a uh, very different environment. I really enjoy how Rare sort of puts out your first um, environment. Like, they give you all sorts of different environments in the first world of what you're going to encounter. Now, granted, that doesn't um, detract from... That doesn't detract from the, the environments you're going to get eventually on, later on. But, uh... Oh, and you're gonna hear that. You're gonna hear that. Just when you think you turn the volume down on your phone and then somebody sends you a message. So the only problem with streaming is that like when you stream by yourself you can't really tell what's going on until after until after they tell you and Twitch just isn't loading for me. So I don't know if that's me or if that's a Twitch thing. Really can't tell you right now, so I'm only hoping for the best. So that's another bonus room. Let's just we're just gonna keep on forward and we're gonna There we go. Very ambient music. That's if there's if there's one thing that um Donkey Country one, I think where Donkey Kong Country two has more an I think like a lot of people like to compare the soundtracks between Donkey Kong Country one, uh, DKC one and DKC two, I should start saying that more often. Uh is that I think DKC. I think they're both good in their own merits. I think in terms of just sheer ambience, DKC One is a lot better in terms of setting an atmosphere of actually being in the jungle, the dangerous environments of being in the jungle, all sorts of peril, while also delivering some cards, some very great fun. Versus Donkey Kong Country uh, One is very much is very uh, Donkey Kong Country Two is ah oh, that was a bonus room. No, it's right there. Let's just keep going. And we got two fish. That's, uh, well, I'll introduce the fish guy later. The whole episode is probably going to be the first world, so. Alright. And we got more lives. Get all lives you want because I'm breezing through this part. Again, it's the intro stage. And here's where I'm going to turn down my mic a little bit. who did the composition for this and it's just so so amazing to get to how everything looks how it sounds uh, just capturing all sorts of different things also you don't have unlike like say sonic or uh, other other games you don't have to worry about Unguard, unguard, unguard the swordfish. Uh, he can, um, he can either, he can either press the B button to do a poke, or he can basically just run into anything. Uh, and we're gonna go shark right here, and he can poke you. Give him a poke. Give him a poke. Also, of course, if you're having damage, you get a lot. Uh, and I, and I was, I was saying this earlier before. And I got him back because he swims right back. And also, there's another one right here too. So, also yeah. So, but you're going to want to, unless you do the 50th uh, live code cheat, you're going to want to do get a lot of lives as much as possible before you get to a certain the third world, which is where a lot of people's Donkey Kong Country plays. I feel like they stop because. Also, we're gonna go to the right here. I'm gonna show you some Super Nintendo secrets. Look at that. Just go to the right. You would never need to do that. But it's just any given reward you just by going to the right. 
Oh, the no oh boy. Go up here, get your N. Again, just give an auto poke. I just press B just because of that happens sense. Those are little pearl enemies. They shoot pearls. Nothing too difficult. Again, this first world should not give you any trouble unless this is like your first platformer. So, don't feel bad. But if you're an experienced platformer. Alright, so that's Coral Capers. Great example of... And I think, actually, they like that one, from what I remember, that one had a huge problem with... Uh, with, with getting uh, on... Like, in terms of getting the sound chip to work the way it wanted to work. But this is Funky. Funky really... This is Funky Kong. You've probably seen him before. He really doesn't do much now because we're only in the first world. But basically, if you're trying to complete this game and get 101%, that means all bonus... All the bonus rooms, which I'm not going for because I don't know where all they're at. And I think there's a glitch with one of them. Uh, Funky Kong allows you to travel all over the island. Um... But since we're only at the first world, we really can't do anything, so we're going to just leave. But there's Funky Kong, if you want to replay, replay levels and everything. So, here now we've seen some basic standard platforming stuff. Here's where Donkey Kong Country sort of sets us apart from Mario Brothers. At least in my opinion. Barrels! Also, that's where the K is, in case you're wondering. I'm pretty sure speedrunners always go for that. I just know about it just because, you know, you, you tend to, as a kid, you tend to start messing around. I guess that's where speedrunners start. You just kind of mess around with things. Like, what can you do? What can you not do? I love, in terms, in terms of watching speedruns, next to Mega Man X, uh, Donkey Kong is one of my favorite things to watch. Absolutely. So this is the barrel gimmick in which you basically have to time your barrels. Some are automatic, as you can see, the ones with the sort of, I guess, star shape on them. And then other ones are timed, like the one I'm currently in right now. There we go. And then the checkpoint just knocks you right off. I feel like I'm trying to channel my inner Bob Ross. I'm just gonna, just gonna hop a little barrel. Alright, I think... Nope, I think it's over here. I don't know where any of the bonus rooms are, honestly. Except for like the first world. Alright, you go up here. We, yeah, there's there's kind of there's kind of some leaps of faith here in this game. There we go. And this is where it gets a little tricky because now the pattern was a little bit off. Uh, now it's a little bit more sporadic. They start throwing a little bit as you can see super fast. Just time it. Just time it. And go. And we got all the letters, so we got 15 lives going into the boss. Sweet. This is Candy Kong. This is your save point. She is for furries. That is all. Checks your percentage. Check all your things. So this is our first boss of the game. There's one thing I can say bad about Donkey Kong Country 1 is the bosses. They're pretty bad. Not the traditional three hits of Mario, but they're pretty unoriginal. They use the same background, and they're pretty easy to spot. And of course, you get a and as a reward, you get a you get all those bananas, and you get uh, a giant banana that says Nintendo. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for this episode of Donkey Kong Country. Uh, thank you for watching. I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, be sure to hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, check out my other videos that I'm playing through currently of Sonic 3 and of uh, and Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. So, thank you for watching, people.